Hello there. I have some exciting news. A wonderful collection of paintings just arrived at the castle. Would you like to help me hang them and decorate the three largest rooms? Okay, let's see what's in the first room. Well, here we are. Paintings will look beautiful on these walls. Let's play a game as we decorate. I'll give you a clue or tell you the name of a painting. Then, using your DVD remote control, you see if you can pick the right one. When you choose the right one, we'll hang it up together. Are you ready? The first painting I would like to hang is a landscape. A landscape is a painting of an outdoor view, like a wide open countryside or a range of mountains. Can you see the landscape here? That's right! This painting is a true landscape. In fact, it's called Landscape with Windmill and Birdcatcher. This painting is by the great Flemish artist, Peter Paul Rubens. Let's see how many different things we can find in the painting. Can you see the two country women sawing the log at the bottom of the picture? Can you see the little river just behind them? And the little rowboat on the river? It's a beautiful landscape, isn't it? Let's hang it on the wall. That looks very nice. I'm really glad you're helping me. For our next painting, let's hang a portrait. A portrait is a painting of a person. See if you can select for me the portrait of Isabella Dest. I'll give you a clue. The portrait was never finished. That's right! This is the portrait of Isabella d'Este by the great Italian artist Leonardo da Vinci. Now, you're probably wondering why this painting doesn't really look finished. That's because it was drawn with chalk. It's also more than 500 years old. And unfortunately, it hasn't aged very well. But let me tell you about Isabella d'Este, because she was very interesting. She was born long ago to a wealthy Italian family. She was very clever, and by the time she was 16, she could speak several different languages, sing, dance, and play musical instruments as well. Let's hang this one up, shall we? Very good. Well, there's only one more painting to go. Let's finish decorating this room with a painting called Portrait of a Young Woman. Can you pick it out for me? Ah, this is one of my favorite paintings, but it's not Portrait of a Young Woman. Try again. Yes, very good. This is called Portrait of a Young Woman and it's by a painter called Sandro Botticelli. I like this painting because it contains a little mystery. Some people think that the lady's hand has been painted over and her sleeve made to cover it. Can you see how her arm looks longer than it should? Nobody knows why the painter did it. You see, art is full of mysteries and unanswered questions. Let's put this painting on the wall. I think this room looks wonderful. Let's move on to the next room. We'll take this remaining painting with us. Oh look, there are three new paintings here and lots of empty walls. But you know what they say, an empty wall is full of possibilities. So let's begin. For the first painting, I'd like to hang an Italian picture called The Fortune Teller. Can you tell which one that is? Very good! This painting is by the Italian artist Michelangelo Caravaggio. Let me tell you the story that's in this painting. On the right is a handsome young man who has come to the fortune teller to get his palm read. Now, do you see how the fortune teller is gazing deeply into the boy's eyes? The young man is enraptured by her attention. 
but look very closely at their hands. While the fortune teller is gazing into the man's eyes, she is slowly slipping the ring off his finger, and he has no idea. I love paintings that tell a story. There's one other thing I'd like to show you here. Do you see how the light on the wall behind the people makes a diagonal line going down? That kind of background is called Caravaggio's cellar light, because it's like the light that you get when you're underground in a cellar. Remember that, because we'll see that again in another painting. Let's put this one on the wall. That looks nice up there, doesn't it? Caravaggio's paintings are always so striking. We have another painting by Caravaggio here. Can you find it? I'll give you a hint. Look for the cellar light. Yes! This is Boy with a Basket of Fruit by Caravaggio. Do you know what a still life painting is? It's when a painter paints something that never moves, like a bouquet of flowers or a bowl of fruit. Well, when Caravaggio was painting, still life paintings were quite popular. So even though there is a boy here, the painting is really about the basket of fruit. Look at the incredible detail in the grapes and leaves. They look almost real, don't they? Do you see the cellar light again? I thought you would. Great! Let's hang this painting next to the other Caravaggio. This room is coming along very well, don't you think? Thanks to you. I'd like to finish decorating this room with a small portrait of a beautiful young woman. See if you can find a nice small one for me. You're right! This portrait is by Leonardo da Vinci, who did the portrait of Isabella d'Este. Isn't she beautiful? Leonardo did this work with a pen, and then washed over it with water to make it look soft. He made the highlights by using white paint. If you look closely, you can see how much detail and care Leonardo put into her pretty hair. Oh, that looks wonderful! We've decorated this room beautifully! Let's take the leftover painting to the next room and see if we can find a home for it there. We just have this one last room to decorate and then the castle will be finished. I hope you're having fun. I am. The three paintings left to hang are all by Peter Paul Rubens, I thought we might hang them next to each other so we could see how beautiful his work is. Let's start with a portrait that Rubens painted of his wife, Hélène Formont. Can you find it? Very good! This painting is called Hélène Formont in her wedding dress. Hélène Formont was the youngest of seven sisters, all famous for their beauty. After she married Rubens, Helene became his favorite model, and he painted many wonderful pictures of her. Rubens loved his wife very much, and so he always kept this painting in his private collection and would never sell it. Let's place it on the wall. You're doing very well. There are only two paintings left to hang. The room is really coming along. Let's see. Next to Helene Formont, I'd like to hang a painting called The Garden of Love. Can you decide which painting that might be? Let's look at the Garden of Love. After Rubens married Hélène Formant, they went to live in his country estate. This painting, 
which shows Rubens leading Helene toward a group of friends, reveals how content they were. Their love is symbolized by the beautiful cherubs flying around them. Let's hang this painting right next to the one of Helene Formant in her wedding dress. These two paintings look beautiful next to each other, don't they? And look, there's only one painting left. Let me tell you about it before we hang it on the wall. This magnificent painting is called The Conclusion of Peace, and it has an interesting story. Marie de' Medici, the Queen of France, went through a long period of war. But after many years, she was finally able to make peace with her enemies. She was so happy that she asked Rubens to make this painting to celebrate it. This is the Goddess of Peace herself. She's setting fire to a suit of armor because the war is finally over. In the background, you can see Queen Marie being led into the Temple of Peace. Her hand is on her heart because she believes that peace will last. Isn't this an extraordinary painting? Let's hang it with the others. I think that these three paintings by Rubens look wonderful together, don't you? The last room is complete. We've decorated the entire castle. Three rooms full of beautiful art. Thank you so much. I couldn't have done it without you.